departing English coast. On course on time, sir. Savage to crew. 10,000 feet, go on oxygen. Starring John Larkin, Frank Overton, with special guest star Andrew Bryan. Tonight's episode, Follow the Leader. General Savage in the lead plane, sir. He must have some wounded. Yes. Yes, 
Yes, I see the flares. Yes, sir. Bleeding inside. They're all back. He was dead before you landed, General. I'd like to commend this bombardier, Lieutenant Mellon. Good work, Mellon. The navigator was his closest friend. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Things happen. Your plane's got a lot of battle damage. I want 21 of them in commission by tomorrow, Sergeant. General, how do we know about the rest? You'll work around the clock, Nero. Yes, sir. We'll get them ready somehow. The old man is concerned about you, Frank. Oh, I think you're down here. No, coming was my own idea. You've made every flight from this base so far. You're going to keep on going up? As long as I have to. Who determines this? I do, Wiley. Frank, the cold, hard fact of the matter is you're not expendable. Are they? Not very good, Frank. A little improvement is not enough. No, it isn't. I hope they like the pretty pictures. Take it easy, Bob. It goes very deep, Frank. Frank, we only have one hope of shortening this war. That is daylight precision bombing. And we're not improving fast enough. Wiley, are you ready to try a new tactic? What did you have in mind? Something I've been thinking about ever since I got here. Look, Wiley, we put up our maximum aircraft today. Well, that means the 21 bombardiers aimed and dropped separately. Got a couple of hits, some came close, and the others are way off. Go on. My bombardier, Mellon, he's been outstanding on every mission today. He did a fine job under stress. He was on target again. Next mission, I want every bombardier to drop on Mellon. When he drops, they drop. You want the entire group to depend upon the aim of one bombardier? On its best bombardier. I'm responsible, and if it goes wrong, it's my neck. It won't go wrong. You want to gamble with my money? Why'd you end up ahead? If it works, you're the hero. If it doesn't work... You know better than that, Wiley. Let's not shout at each other, Frank. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right. I'm going back to wing. I'll leave it this way, Frank. 
You just better be right. Catch up to you. Come in. Danger. How do you? Uh, Jess, I'd like to talk to Mellon. Yes, sir. I was just going. It's not man. First off, that was a very good job today, especially under the circumstances. I've recommended a citation for you. Thank you, sir. Bob, I. What? Nothing, sir. Is this Cram's bed? Yes, sir. Bob, the record shows that you're the best bombardier in this group. You have a talent for it. Now, I need that talent now. I don't understand, sir. I want you to aim for the group. The whole group? That's right. You'll be the lead bombardier. The others will watch you. They'll drop when you drop. How about that? But, um... Well, there are a few who outrank me, sir. I, I'm not bucking for rank or anything like that, but some of the others... When you sight on a target, do you know you're going to hit that target? Yes, sir. Even those times when I miss. Okay. <laughs> okay, that wasn't so tough to admit, was it, huh? For your information, General, both eardrums are inflamed. Raw as beef steak. Well, I can hear if as long you as I fly, can. you'll burst those eardrums before you reach 20,000 feet. You milk toast quacks are all alike. As long as I can climb into a cockpit, I'm going to fly. No, General, you're staying on the ground. Now don't tip. Come in! Sir, we've got 19 ships ready to fly. I asked for 21. Yes, just to work around the clock. We did. All right, sir, you're all right. Anything else, sir? Yes, there is something else. You get those other two planes ready today. Yes, sir. Are you leading today, sir? If you bust your eardrums, General, you could be out for the duration. arguing with the umpire, aren't you? Okay, Joe, you take it. I'll leave the next one. We're uh, bombing on Mellon. You're set on that? What's your reservation? Yesterday's mission was rough on him. We can't hold our hands after rough missions, Joe. They've all got to get used to him. If you'll permit my saying this, General, they're only boys, most of them. The Air Force says they're men, Doc. And they're proving it. If they're not, we're finished. Anything else, sir? No, thanks, sir. Sure try. You all set, Jeff? All checked out here, sir. Let's get going. Bye. Check. Two. FW at one. Check. Guy. Three. Check. Bomb 
Bombardier, are you okay, Doc? Why? General Savage from Mellon. The navigator's a bit hit. I'm trying to help. We're on the bomb run. He's hit bad. I'll send Bishop down. You get back on that site, Mellon. He's going, General. We gotta get him home. We've gotta get him home. We can't break formation. High squadron, keep it closed up. Keep it closed up. Yellow jacket to high squadron. Keep it closed up. of his engines and asked me to take over the lead. They were dropping back over the channel, but they radioed they tried to make base. What happened? The strike report was inconclusive. As near as I could figure it, General. All our bombs fell way short. Are you sure? I don't know, sir. My, my bombardier said the visibility was very hazy, but he thought that Mullen dropped his bombs prematurely. And we all dropped in him. All right, let's go see what those pictures show. Oh, Frank, I came right down. We are in serious trouble. Yes, sir, I know. But what you may not know, there's already been a complaint filed by the Dutch Embassy. You know it was right in the middle of the area that your entire group unloaded on? A school. All right, how bad was it? The wires are melting from the United States ambassador in London to Eisenhower, to Spots, to Pritchard, and to me. Now, the brick stops here. There had better be a good answer. General Savage. Yes, Army. Uh, Cobb's here, sir, with Bishop's crew. Send them in. Oh, yes, sir. General. Hey, met Major Cobb, leader of the mission, the Bishop, Mellon, Lieutenant Zimmerman, our lead navigator. Gentlemen, today's gross error has already had international repercussions. I think we better get to the bottom of it, quick. 
Major, what happened? Well, General, it started out like a perfect bomb run after we turned at the IP. Lieutenant Mellon was lined up just right on the briefed heading and... Come to the point. I don't know what went wrong, General. Mellon, I hope you can tell us. I have no explanation, sir. I, I had to target my sights all the way and... I don't know how I could have missed that far. Mellon has never come close to a gross error in his life. It must have been a malfunction or battle damage. Well? The bomb site seemed to be working perfectly, General Crow. Sergeant Nero's checking it out now. Well, how soon will we know? Give me Sergeant Nero. Bob, did you take any hits while you were on the bomb run? Yes, sir, we took some flak. Was there any flak after the bomb run, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, quite a bit. Nero, General Savage, have you checked out that bomb site yet? Then you don't know whether there was damage to the site before or after you dropped. I'm still checking it out. There's no way of telling when any damage was incurred, if it was. But I think we've settled one point. We can't afford to gamble on the accuracy of a single bombardier. Sir, I want to say that this... Just a minute, Frank. I think we can excuse this crew. But before they go, I want them to know that unless mechanical error is proved, I no longer consider them qualified to lead further missions. Sir, I have just prepared a recommendation for a DFC for one member of this crew. Aside from that, if the day comes when I cannot assign my crew as I see fit or run my own outfit, I will ask to be relieved. That'll be all, gentlemen. That's strong language to use in front of a crew. That's one of my crews, Wiley. Now you hit them, you hurt them. If you want me to step down, I just want say, you to be sensible. I believe Frank. in this tactic. Despite what happened today, I'm not going to give it up because of one gross error. Too much depends on being right. Absolutely right. And if I am still in command here tomorrow, I am going to bomb off my leader again, just the way we did it today. You'd risk an entire mission to prove this out. Finally, there was a time when you risked an entire crew. For me. Why? I believed in you, Frank. Well, have you stopped now? want him to play? Leave him alone. What are you, his mother? Come on. Give me. Killing a point. Save your money.
How's that for a pattern? Bob! it up today, but could. Oh. I let him down. The whole group. Oh. Is that all you can say? What do you want me to say? You don't get it. They all bombed on me. And I made them bomb on children. Alan, I've been looking all over for you. You better say goodnight to your girl. The general wants to see her. Will you call me? Tomorrow. Maybe. Exactly, sir. Well, fly catcher salvo switch. Short of the electrical circuit and dumped your bombs on you about mm, ten seconds early, as near as I can figure. You feel better? General, how do we know the flak didn't hit that switch after the bomb run? No, it couldn't have. Don't you see? Everything fits. We'll never really know. Now, look, I am faced with giving a true explanation for a lot of people getting killed. As far as I'm concerned, this is it. I don't want a alibi. Not for me or anyone. They'll all be just as dead. You couldn't have bombed that badly if you tried. Sir, I was frozen up when I went on that mission. When you dropped your bombs, were you still frozen? No, sir. You were clear? Yes, sir. Clear and calm. All right, then I stick by what I said. But you can't know, sir. You'll know when you pickle the target tomorrow. Tomorrow? We're alerted. You mean you want them to bomb on me again? That's right, Bob. Why? General, why me? I, I fouled everything up today. I don't believe that, Bob. I don't want you to believe it. Among other things, I don't want you to go through life carrying that around your neck. Well, sir, I don't know what to say. I mean, sir, I'm not chicken or anything. I want to go on that mission. But I killed a lot of kids today. So did I, Mellon. I know how you feel. Then you know I can't do it. I know you have to. Sir? Dismiss, Mellon. Dismissed.
saying the eardrums aren't better, sir, but I still recommend you wait one more day. Well, I'll go along with you, Doc, if it weren't for this target. Yesterday we tried a new tactical concept, bombing on the leader. Well, gentlemen, it didn't work out. Not yesterday. Now, I am not alibying for anyone when I say that yesterday's gross error was almost certainly due to a mechanical failure. Well, today we have to go back to the same target and do the job right. There will be no evasive action once we turn on to the bomb run. And we can't afford to miss this target again, so we are making an extra long bomb run. Same tactics as yesterday, a bomb on the leader. I'll be flying with the lead crew, that is Bishop's crew. The same crew as yesterday. There is a JU at 2 o'clock high spotting us. They should be coming 
out of soon, so keep your eyes peeled. General, intercept station report. The Luftwaffe was coming up in force. The 918th is going to have it rough, sir. You know, you're going to stop Savage from bombing off the leader again. Any second thoughts? Many, sir. But it's command responsibility, and I've accepted it. When do we hit the primary target? Right about now, sir.
Now, that is going to cut in on your crap shooting, isn't it, Rush? <laughs> yes, sir. That's what sure cost me money, sir. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Yes, sir, General. Hi, Bob. How do you feel? I'm all right, General. Do you feel like talking? I guess so, sir. Did you observe where our bombs hit? Uh, no, sir, I did. Over 70% inside a thousand foot circle. Well, that's all right, <laughs> sir. It's just lucky for us that you weren't hit before bombs away. Glad I could come through for you, sir. Could I ask a question? Yeah, sure, Bob. Come on. Yeah. Sir. Why did you bet everything on me? Because you had the training, you had the intelligence, you had the skill. And I was sure you had the character. We can't rely on you, Bob. Then we're licked. But we're not licked yet, are we? No, sir. No, sir, we're not. Thank you for making me go through it, General. And you should thank General Crow. I don't understand, sir. Fifteen years ago, I took off a three-engine job. Plane stalled 500 feet. Crashed just off the field. Everybody was killed except myself. There was an inquiry to determine whether it had been mechanical failure or my fault. Well, the inquiry didn't resolve the question. result in my own mind if Wiley Crow hadn't persuaded me to fly it again.